Okay, we're going to go over, here's an example problem that you can use in your homework tonight. Here's an equation, two variables, it's not in slope-intercept form. Okay, first thing I want to do is find the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, set y to 0, solve for x. So I rewrite the equation. Instead of y, I'm setting y to 0. So the y turns into a 0. So now instead of 5 times y, 5 times 0. Okay, I have 3x minus 5 times 0 is 0. 3x minus 0 is 15 which means that 3x is 15. Okay, minus 0 is nothing. It disappears. 3 times x is 15. Well, x is getting multiplied by 3, the opposite of multiplication division, because remember, I want to get x by itself. I divide by 3, which is the coefficient, or number multiplying by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is just x. x equals 15 divided by 3, which is 5. This is my x-intercept. And what point is this? What ordered pair? X, remember, x value, y value. This is how we write an ordered pair. What's the x value? It's 5. And the value of y, what did we put in for y? We put in 0. This is the x-intercept, x equals 5, occurs on the point 5, 0. Let's find the y-intercept. We do the same thing, only instead of y, setting y to 0, we're going to set x equal to 0. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. Now x is 0. So 3 times 0 minus 5 times y is 15, okay? You can't see that. Okay. 3 times 0 minus 5 times y is 15. Can you see that? Yes. Okay? 3 times 0 is just 0 minus 5y equals 15. The zero goes away. I have negative 5y equals 15. What's going on with y? I want to get y by itself. Right now, y is getting multiplied by negative 5. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. I'm going to divide by negative 5, both sides. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. 1 times y is just y. 15 divided by negative 5 is negative 3. So this is my y-intercept. What point is this? Remember, we always write x, then y. The x value I put in for x was 0. The y value is negative 3. So now I have my two intercepts, my x-intercept and my y-intercept. Okay. And how do I turn this equation, by the way, into slope-intercept form? Okay. I'll label it down here, slope-intercept form. Okay, which looks like this, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. Okay? So, how do I do that? Well, I start with 3x minus 5y equals 15. I want to get y all by itself on the left. So, the first thing I'm going to get rid of is this 3x. And I'm going to subtract it. If I subtract it from one side, i got to subtract it from the other. 3x minus 3x is 0. So 0 minus 5y equals 15 minus 3x. And to put this in proper slope-intercept form, I want the x term first. So I'm going to rewrite this. Negative 5y equals negative 3x plus 15. All I did was put these in reverse order, which I can do as long as I take my negative with me. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I have negative 5y equals 3x plus 15. Okay? Negative 5 is multiplying by y, and I want it all by itself. Okay? I'm going to rewrite it over here so you can see. get y by itself. Right now it's multiplying by negative 5. I'm going to divide by negative 5. Okay? And if I divide one side by negative 5, I have to divide both sides by negative 5. And with division, I have to divide each term by negative 5. Okay? And I'm left with y equals negative 3 divided by negative 5 is positive 3 fifths, still times x, plus 15 divided by negative 5 is negative 3. Okay? Plus minus 3 is just minus 3. Now I have an equation that's in the form that matches this one. 
y equals 3 fifths x minus 3. What's my slope? Well, it's the coefficient of x, the number multiplying x. Well, what is that here? It's 3 fifths. Okay. And what's my y-intercept? Well, according to this, it's negative 3. And let's double check. Sure enough, that's exactly what we got when we solved for the y-intercept. Okay? So that's how we find the x-intercept, y-intercept, and then take an equation and put it into slope-intercept form. Next, we're going to graph it.